perform operations, uh, set operations on three sets. So let's remember that intersection uh, is a little A without the bar across, right? This means and. Union looks like a U and means or. So wait, and, right? These are the shared elements. Or means one or the other. And then complement is noted by a C. So if we have the set A, a complement, we can also put that as like A prime. This means everything not in A. Okay, let's jump into some sets. So we have uh, the universal set as whole numbers 1 to 16. Set A is 1, 4, 8, 12, and 15. Set B is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then set C is 4, 8, 12, and 16. So in letter A, we're going to find A or B and C. Now, when you're doing these operations on sets, is this very much like we're doing order of operations, right? We have to find that one that's in parentheses first. So A or B. So let's do that one first. A or B gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 12, and 15. All right? I put these two together, A or B. Now we're going to compare that with C. So I'm going to compare these two sets. What do they share? So for A, this is A or B and C. Well, they don't share a 1, a 2, or 3. They share a 4. I'm just going through. 5, yep, they share an 8. Do they share 12? Yes. Do they share 15? No. So 4, 8, and 12. There's letter A. Now for B, we'll get rid of this here. For B, we're finding first A and B. So what do A and B share? Well, they don't share a one or a two. They share a four. They don't share. That's it. They share a four. So A and B is four. Now we want to do that and, or, excuse me, or C. So basically four or C. Well, let's look at that. C is four, eight, 12, and 16 or 4. Well, 4 is already included, so that's it. 4, 8, 12, and 16. Let's go to letter C, where it says A and C. Now, we want to figure out what do A and C have in common. Well, they have a 4 and an 8 and a 12. 4, 8, and 12 are an A and C. Or B. Well, great. As I'm looking at that, B we know is 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then we want to add on to that 8 and 12 because this is an OR statement. So all of B and everything you see for 8 and 12, again, we don't need to uh, duplicate numbers. All right, let's move on to the next one. Use the following sets below to perform the given operations. And if you really understand these, you know, feel free to like move on. But you can see we're getting into some compliments, into some little trickier ones, so feel free to stick around. Okay, so the following, uh, the, where am I at? The universal set here is 1 to 15, right? Whole numbers 1 to 15. We have set A that includes 0, 1, 5, 6, 7, and 12. Set B that is 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 14, 15. And then C, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, and 11. Okay, so in letter A, I'm going to start by taking A or B. Okay, so A or B is here and here. So I'm going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 15. Okay, so that's A or B. Now I'm comparing this with C. What do they have in common? So I can see 3, 6, and 10. So for letter A, my answer is 3, 6, and 10. And that's it. And there is a lie because they also have a 5. I missed it. Okay, so let's back up. 3, 5, 6, and 10. This is why you always double check your work. Um, and why I like to write things right next to each other because I looked at that and went, oh, no, those, that's a 5. That's a 5 I need to do. Okay. So that's letter A. Okay, let's get rid of my workspace. And let's look at B. B is A and 
B or C. Okay, so now I need to start with B or C. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven, fourteen, and fifteen. Double check. Yep, okay, so that's B or C. Now compare that to A. What do they have? Because again, this is an and, so what do they have in common? Do they share a one? Yes. Okay, so one. Do they share a two? Nope. Three? Nope. Four? Nope. Five? Yes. Six? Yes. Eight? No. Ten? No. Eleven? No. 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 Great. One, five, and six. Feel free if you have different colors to like cross things out with different colors. It's helpful. All right, then we'll move on to letter C. A, I'm starting with A and B. Okay, so I'm looking at what do A and B have in common? Do they have a one? Yes. Two, no, three, no. Six, yes. Eight, nope, 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 nope. Okay, one and six, that's A and B. A and C. Okay, so now I'm looking, I'm comparing this to C. What do they have in common? Do they share the one? No. Do they share a six? Yes. So for C, my only answer is six. All right, now D is going to piggyback onto C because you'll notice that it's A and B and C complement. So it's everything in the universal set from part C that is not in part C. Now we know we're going from 1 to 15, so my, for answer D is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, skip 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Right? The only thing that we had in A and B and C was 6. So then we're going to have everything else for the complement. All right, let's look at letter E. Letter E is A or B and C. So we have to start by finding B and C. What do they share? Well, let's go with B. Do they have a one? Nope, nope. Three, yes. Okay, six, yes. Eight, nope, 10, yep. 14, 15, no. So three, six, and 10 is B and C. So now we're looking for A or that. Okay, so I'm looking at letter E. Let's put that answer right here. So in numerical order, zero, okay, we're comparing A and then B and C. Zero, one, three, five, six, seven, 10, 12. Whew. Can get to be a lot, you know, when you got all these numbers. I probably should have split this up into more than one page, but that's all right. And the last one, whoa, we have A or B or C complement. Okay, now. I'm going to look at all of this at kind of at one time. If we're looking at A or B or C, we're looking at any of these numbers. So all of these, just what do we have? Okay, so I'm going to put them all, put them all in one. So A or B or C is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight. I don't have a nine. We're missing a nine. And then 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. I'm missing 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so A or B or C is all of those. You'll notice that I wrote down what I was missing because we need to find the complement. And the complement is basically what are you missing? Well, we're missing nine and 13. So the complement of A or B or C is 9, the set of 913. That was intense and a lot of fun.